Megyn Kelly cannot believe what this famous comedian had to say about Ellen DeGeneres. You guys have got to check this out. That there is an attempted comeback by somebody who did not cross one of those fateful lines of the misstepping on their sacred cows of gender or race or sexuality. Yeah. But she was said to be a nasty biatch and that's Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. So her show got canceled after she had this testy exchange with Dakota Johnson, where it's, it's, something happened where Dakota said, oh, I had this birthday party. And Ellen said, well, why didn't you invite me? You didn't invite me. And she said like, no, I did invite you, Ellen. That's not what happened. And Ellen had blown her off and yeah. then tried to play the victim on the set with her. Anyway, it led to article after article of people being like, Ellen's a bitch. Ellen yeah. is a nasty person. And all these staffers started to come out, not for nothing, but I know a guy I know him very well, whose sister worked for her, who said you were not allowed to make eye contact with Ellen in the halls of that show. If you saw her, this is not a nice person. So she eventually got canceled, mm -hmm. but now she's coming back. She's got a Netflix special. <laughs> That's the right response. Yeah, She's got a Netflix special. And here's the capper. On the, the promo, and apparently there's there's now articles out about pe from people who have seen uh, the, the preview, she plays the victim. And she <laughs> says, poor me. And she actually has the nerve to say that she was run out of Hollywood. This wow. person- with a hundred, she, she had with $100 million in her pocket. F $450 <laughs> million, according to Forbes. Uh, that's a low estimate. Yeah. Because, so now she's out there saying- I was run out of Hollywood. She's actually reportedly complaining about how hard it is for women in America with the double standards. Look at Oprah, how hard it is for her. Oh, but she's how got at, what, like 10 <laughs> houses, Ellen DeGeneres. Michelle Obama, look how hard it is for women in America. They're hurting. They're gonna let her back in, Rob, because she's a lesbian, she's a leftist, and she yeah. didn't hit one of their sacred cows. Nastiness, that's their bread and butter. <laughs> well, I think everyone... Uh, I mean, I will say like the, the resentment, I think everyone should be, have a chance for reconciliation. I don't think Jesus exempted anybody. And so I, I, I do, while it, it, it does, because I have been allowed back in, but it's, I, I don't hold any, any grievance and resentment. It's very important. And, and I would just say for Ellen, the resentment, you have to know, you have to get over resentment to whatever addiction or addictive uh, qualities happen to get over it. You have to deal with resentment and address it and then otherwise you're going to fall back into the same pattern he's right everyone deserves a second chance but i don't think ellen believes that she did anything wrong after someone repents and admits that something they did in the past was wrong then you can get a second chance but i already know her personality type she thinks she's holier than sin she thinks she's better than everybody else i'll tell you something right now if she supported donald trump she'd either be on the unemployment line right now or she'd be in jail that's it. Because she supports the woke mob, she's safe. Earth to be feeling sorry for herself, Ellen DeGeneres yeah, should well, not be on the list. She should at least, uh, you know, but make a real apology and do it. In, There's no in apology. <laughs> it's just woe is me. I was I was run out of Hollywood as she speaks from this grandiose stage on Netflix. Hello, oh, you yeah. haven't been canceled if you are doing a Netflix special. She got 20 million for the one before this. I'm sure yeah. she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. Uh, you know, it is, um, Ellen is um, is a comedian and, and all comedians, and I get it, and I have to fight this, and it is true. You you never forget that even though she has $450 million, she, the, the I mean, and I, I really do, and I mean this sincerely, the fact that she had to hold back that she was a lesbian for years and ABC told me you, you couldn't come out. I mean, that frustration would create an anger that, uh, and a resentment that I think is understandable for people. That doesn't, in, that doesn't equate or doesn't justify any meanness or any ugliness. But I, I was with her and uh, when she was a stand-up comedian, and when she, they made her star in a movie where she had to kiss another guy and do this movie, which obviously wasn't being able to play herself. And I do remember being with her and feeling that resentment and going, wow, that's a much tougher road than I've had to go through. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, like- But I know, then she, yeah, the same society- it happens, Bestowed but, riches beyond the wildest imagination upon this I know, woman. But when you don't get over your grievances and you let it fester and resent and take it out on people, 
And then, then I think that that's something that has to be, I mean, it, it, there really does have to be a, a coming to, you know, coming to Jesus moment where you have to, I mean, literally or figuratively, where you can just get over this stuff mm-hmm. and then start over and say, yeah, I was a, whether you want to use the C word mm-hmm. <laughs> or the B word and admit that and move on. And I think in our culture, the great thing about America is that there, you really do have a tradition of forgiveness here. Mm-hmm. We have a culture. Oh, I agree with you. And forgiveness is great. I'm Catholic. It's just the double standard on it is very galling. Here's it a clip, is, by the is, way. This is, uh, this is the Let promo for her, her Netflix. I got chickens. Let me see what else I can tell you about that has been going on. Oh, yeah. I got kicked out of show business. <laughs> girl wasn't kind that was the headline here's the problem i'm a comedian who got a talk show and i ended the show every day by saying be kind to one another had i ended my show by saying go fuck yourselves people would have been pleasantly surprised to find out i'm kind well yeah that's a disingenuous that's dising and, and this is that's this this uh does this yeah disingenuous this generous that's this dis- disgenerous. <laughs> well, I think you should, I mean, there, there's certainly no lack of, um, I don't sense any humility no, in that. No, and no one cares that now she's dealing with chickens. It's like, all right, I just. You're I'm, a normal $450 million I, right. person. And by the way, I guarantee you she's Who's worth Who's taking a care lot of her more. chickens? I guarantee, what's that? You guarantee what? She's worth a lot oh, more yeah, than $450 yeah. million. Dollars. Her art alone. And like those talk show hosts. Her devil worshiping art alone. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's too much. I can't stand these rich celebrities who want us to feel sorry for them. We don't, right? It's yeah. like all those you saw, like Julia Roberts on the Oprah special with Kamala Harris, like, oh, and Meryl Streep. Like, I know, Winning Not over the hearts of people who live in gated communities everywhere. <laughs> well, wait, are these still your people? Are you still in California? No, I had to move out of California because yes. I got little kids. And we understand it's da- why. It's dangerous that, you know, in California, to take your kids, you know, in public schools. You know, in the morning, you drop off a girl. In the afternoon, you pick up a boy. <laughs> you know, you never know what you're going to get. Um, and he's not alone. There are thousands of people fleeing California on a yearly basis. Some of the biggest people in the world today, like Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, realize and recognize the issues going on in California and Hollywood. It's extremely toxic. And very quickly, it is looking like a third world country. So it doesn't surprise me that all these celebrities who live there are extremely woke. Is they're behind gated communities. They are safe as can be. Meanwhile, everyone else in California is suffering for the most part. They're paying almost 50% in taxes. Half the streets are riddled with homelessness. And don't even get me started on the propaganda they teach in schools and the Governor Newsom. Ellen DeGeneres is the perfect representation of Hollywood as a whole. Artificial, fake, not what it appears to be. Hollywood in the movies, it looks so glamorous like you want to go there. I've never been there, but I know people who have, and they describe Hollywood and California as without a soul. They feel empty. It feels like a vapiest place. But I always knew there was something about her that just didn't seem right. It seemed fishy. She is fake as can be. And look into her set. Look into the set on the Ellen DeGeneres show. It's very suspicious, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Will you be watching her Netflix special? And have you ever watched her TV show? Let me know. I'd love to hear that. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.